running of the great gobbler gallop is a festive day in Worthington, Minnesota. The visiting team from Quero, Texas, brings their turkey, Ruby Begonia, to meet the Worthington Trotter, and each bird promises the other a good basting. These two towns have competed annually since 1973 and had their own turkey races before that. So both sides really know their stuffing. The night before the race, Ruby sizes up the Worthington bird, Paycheck, called Paycheck because he goes so fast. On race day, it's a carnival atmosphere. The two towns and folks from miles around get together for fun and some friendly joshing. Right here is the winner of this race today. Now, you can almost bank on it. This is one of the few parades where drum majors walk on their own drumsticks. for the first championship heat. The Texans are in blue, the Minnesotans are in black, and the turkeys are in the pink. Okay. One more minute to go, and the race is going to be started. The 150-yard races will be run in two heats, this one in Worthington and the second one in Cuero. There's a five-second penalty every time a bird is touched. And now, they're off. The winner, Quero's Ruby Begonia. Wonder what happened to the loser? <laughs> Just kidding, folks. Worthington is back in the running when they visit Quero. Finish line is here. All right, then we're going to have the V formation. So this thing will pick the bird up, and we'll sail it over the Lone Star truck. What I've done so far is I've clipped the right wing of the bird, which, according to my calculations, should make the bird veer to the right. But here's a net, and uh, we're going to catch Ruby in right here. Uh, <laughs> let's go get him. <laughs> and now, the big event. In this second heat, the Texas bird runs a strong race in the wrong direction. Paycheck wins by a neck and a city block. On combined time, this year's victory went to Texas. The results now stand Worthington 6, Quero 4. The folks love it. But to Paycheck and Ruby Begonia, the cheers are all gobbledygook. <laughs>